We begin tonight with Project Safe Schools and a new idea to keep students in class. Students exposed to COVID-19 could soon be allowed to quarantine in school. As Brady Halbleib found, it's up to each district to decide whether to get on board. Yeah, that's right. It's an initiative to keep students within the classroom. The policy would essentially give school districts the option to house quarantine students who have been exposed to COVID-19. Tonight, a new policy is giving school districts more room to deal with students exposed to COVID-19. Initiated by the State Department of Health, the new policy would allow schools to house students within the school rather than sending them home to quarantine. We feel confident that it's it's a win for um, for the schools. Under the policy's guidelines, students and teachers who have been exposed to the virus would still go to school, but be placed in an area with others who have also been exposed. Individual schools will be left to decide who will facilitate the quarantined area. And expect the policies to be implemented in a way that does not put teachers uh, at an inordinate or un undue risk. It's meant to keep students in the classroom, providing working parents who struggle with at-home learning a safe place for their child to quarantine while also getting all the essential benefits a school provides, such as adult supervision, food assistance, internet, and easier access to an instructor. Because the students will still be engaged in distance learning, uh, you know, some of the challenges that come with that will still be present. but. We feel like this is a, a benefit or a potential benefit for those families. Still, districts must follow strict guidelines before implementing the new policy. Schools must have the facility to house quarantine students in a socially distant environment, such as gymnasium or auditorium, and force students to wear masks at all times and social distance, keep students within the quarantined area at all times, repeatedly test students, provide supervision, and provide an opportunity for students to get outside multiple times a day. We feel very confident that this uh, will further our understanding of uh, disease transmission within the classroom. School districts will have the option to start the new policy November 30th. The new policy can be terminated at any time and right now is in its trial period. We've reached out to our local school districts, but many have already left for a holiday break. In reaction to this, new policy will likely come next week. Brady Howe, Live 2 works for you.